Hi, I'm Gary Embry. I'm Senior Lecturer in Illustration at the University of West of England in Bristol in the UK. So, sorry I can't be at the Alicante Design Education Forum, but I'm going to be talking around the question, how can we improve art and design education? So, I've noticed increasingly year on year, more art and design students are asking me, what do you do? By that, they don't mean what do you do in terms of being a university lecturer. It's what you do that makes you qualified to tell me how it is and how to make it in a creative industry, which is increasingly oversubscribed and saturated. Since my kids have been through university studying art and design courses, I found myself asking the question, what are they getting for their money? Then coming back down to earth with a bump as I realised that's what my students and their fee rent subsidising families are also saying. I also know that it's going to be a question asked more and more frequently as higher and higher fees kick in. I actually think both questions are very good ones and we ourselves need to be asking as the creative industries become more and more competitive. What students want from their courses and lectures is currency and the reassurance that they know what they're talking about and that knowledge is born out of experience. I believe a good art and design course should provide students with the knowledge, skills and confidence to pursue a career in the creative industries. We need to avoid an education system which strives to align itself so much to industry that it ends up stifling innovation and make students and institutions adverse to risk. University creative industry courses need to inspire industry, not just be inspired by industry, creating work which is pastiche and industry standard. Studying at a good university on an excellent creative degree course with a proven track record is crucial in helping to nurture future illustrators, designers and other art and design creatives to be much more experimental, lateral thinkers, producing challenging interdisciplinary work which push and blur boundaries. A much more vocational approach may end up creating a generation of designers who, although very professional, polished and cost-effective, may end up making work which is safe, but ultimately uninspiring. Expectations are high, but students can end up in an industry which at times can be relatively conservative and parochial. Only a small percentage are DNA D high flyers, so this may be the only opportunity to really push the boundaries and the only chance to create dynamic work on subjects and themes they are passionate about creating a portfolio which dramatically increases their chance of, chances of moving into a highly creative, dynamic job. Industry is looking for portfolios that look at things in a new and creative way. They don't expect graduates to show work which is happening or has already happening. They expect new and inspiring work, work which is challenging, original and innovative, not safe and derivative. A good creative university education offers a chance to work with a whole range of like-minded creative individuals in a dynamic environment and fettered by too many commercial constraints. There needs to be a confidence in making mistakes. In a rush to be bankable, some students are aligning themselves with what is current and fashionable and work can become very predictable. Students should be able to make mistakes for in failure there are, there are opportunities and lessons to be learned. So how many times in my practice have I retrieved work from the waste paper bin to see its value and worth? A good course should encourage complementarity, collaborative working, live briefs, innovative professional practice modules, dynamic collaborative practice with industry, live briefs which investigate a wide variety of social courses and disciplines, access to well-known and respected visiting tutors, cross-course and inter-year collaborations and studio working to foster accelerated learning. So look at Fabrica, which is not a school advertising agency or university, but an applied creative laboratory. Placements and collaborations with industry, not only for students, but also encouraged for staff who then can engage closer with the industry to update their practice. A course should offer well-sized studios for every level, somewhere students can work outside lectures or workshops, and somewhere each student has a desk and a space, somewhere to reflect, create, discuss and take ownership, facilitated by tutors who know their subject and are involved in their discipline area and who are passionate about the creative industries. Let's be realistic, students are going to be paying up to 9,000 per year and are going to be looking very closely at exactly what they are getting for their money. I don't think this makes them our customers, I just think they want an exciting, dynamic, creative experience, something that they wouldn't necessarily get from a work placement. We are increasingly working longer into later life. Why start earlier than we need to? Thank you.